So it's time for some delicious ice cream. And with this, I'm saying yes, as everyone, it's let's go and welcome to my latest boop, 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 boop. vlog, summer vlog number two. Here we are in Vranje. Cheers on you guys. And as usual, this video is proudly presented by my executive producer, Didrik. Thank you very much for your support. I genuinely appreciate it. If you want to become just like him, a supporter of me, check out the first link in the description. It will lead you to my Patreon page. So where is Vranje exactly? It is in the southeast of Serbia and it is the closest bigger town from my village where I'm usually staying in Serbia. It isn't particularly well known, but it still has some places which I think are nice to visit, because even such a small place has some historic relevance. Walking up the Kralja Stefana Prvovenčanog street, you come across this monument here with a commemorative plate for the fallen people who fought for Serbia's independence of the Ottoman Empire back in 1878. Nearby there is also a billboard where North Macedonia thanks Serbia for saving lives with the vaccination campaign. But I will speak about this in another video in the near future. Vranje was for quite a long while a poorly upkept city and it didn't have any nice green space. But the government changed something and built this park with lots of benches and rather wide walkways. There is even a fountain which actually struck me with surprise that it works, as I thought it was out of order. And the creme de la creme of the park is the statue of the author Boris Stankovic, the most famous personality from Vranje. Also worth mentioning is that the recycling is becoming more of a thing in Serbia and now even in Vranje you can find disposal containers for plastics, glass and miscellaneous rubbish. Now this is nice to see. For the last site I needed to turn on the car and drive a bit further away of the center and I reached the key landmark of Vranje. The White Bridge. It resembles the bridge over the Neretva in Mostar in terms of style, because both were constructed by the Ottomans. There is even a legend behind the bridge, which is about the forbidden love between a Serb shepherd called Stoyan and the Turkish girl Aisha. Aisha's dad, Selim, who was against the love between them, accidentally killed her when she was protecting Stoyan with her own body and right after that Stoyan committed suicide. Sadly, the environment around the bridge is not that nice and well upkept like the town center. But there is a small church nearby and the yard keeper was nice enough to let me film in it. When going to such places, always ask if it is alright to film or not, because some people may find it disrespectful. I like the fact that it is an open air church and that it is in a green area, which makes it stand out from other churches.
What would be Vlad without going to malls? So yeah, let's check this one out. It is called Zona and it is a brand new place which opened less than a year ago. Before it opened, there wasn't anything like that, not just in Vranje, but in the whole area around it. There aren't any fancy schmancy brands, but you can still get some decent local and foreign brands over there. And one of the stores which I haven't seen before was Pepco. Basically, there's a store selling miscellaneous things like clothes, shoes, household goods, toys and decoration for a low price. To finish off the day in Vranje, we went together to eat something at Roštil Kodžavu, or in English, barbecue at the frog. It is one of the most popular casual dining or better said fast food places in town. They have there lots of meat specialities directly from the grill, like cevapcici, pleskavica, shish kebab, etc. They also make various sandwiches and toasts for the smaller hunger. I got myself a ham toast and oi blin, it was good. Ding ding! Hey! You always see you always see my mom smoking in my videos. It's actually not really that great. She's not a good role model and she knows that, but <laughs> she's anyway my mom. <laughs> anyway guys, this, that was it from my side from Vra that was it from my side from from uh, English <laughs> That was it from my side. I hope you really enjoyed this video from Vra from Yebemti Jivot. <laughs> This bloody R when you switch between Serbian and English is absolutely frightening. Anyway, that was it from my side. I hope that you really enjoyed this video from Branje. Leave a like if you enjoyed it so far. Also write a comment down for some feedback as feedback is always good. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon in order not to miss any of my future videos. And of course, with all the notifications on. Thank you Benny for being my sound engineer because without you this video would not have been possible and if you want to become just like him a sound engineer check out the first link in the description it will lead you to my Patreon page and if you want to stay in touch with me my Instagram account my TikTok account and my Discord server are all free in the description down below stay tuned and I hope to see you the next time bye bye